Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee Chat with Camille. I am your hostess, Camille, and I have a movie review, my very first one for 2024, and it will be Tyler Perry's movie, um, Divorce in the Black. Okay, so if you haven't had a chance to see it, Please check it out. It is actually playing, I think, on Prime Video right now. And I really enjoyed it. But I use a certain criterion in order to come up with my review. Okay, so I give it a certain amount of stars at the end of this presentation. All right. So let's start off with Movie Review 2024, Divorce. In the black. Oh, well, looks like my applause didn't work. Huh, it worked earlier. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, yay. So now let's go on to start it. All right, so before we get started, can you guys please like and subscribe? All right, so it, this movie is directed by Mr. Tyler Perry. And, um, oh, okay, let me go back a slide one moment. To right here. Okay, let's start there. Uh, by Tyler Perry. He, he has a loyal fan base that follows his work, especially those who appreciate his style of storytelling, which often includes dramatic themes, strong character development, and social issues. The informal movie classification that I gave this is an A and a B. B rating. A, because it's high budget. Um, it's the, it, These kind of films are typically produced by major studios, feature well-known actors and directors, and are aimed at a wide audience. B, because it looked like it was a quicker product on a quicker production schedule just based on how fast some of the scenes were going. Okay, the next one. Again, just going to remind you to like and subscribe. Who are the characters? Well, the characters in the movie are Ava, who's played by the wonderful Megan Good, Dallas, played by the amazing Corey Hadrick, Clarence, Richard Lawson, Jean, by Debbie Morgan, the two seasoned actors established. Benji is Joseph Lee Anderson. Rona was played by Taylor Polidor Williams. Jim's character was Shannon Wallace, and there were more. I liked one actress, and I think her name was like Ursula, first name, but she played the mother of Dallas. Please remember to like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. Thank you so much for your support. The film setting is in Atlanta, Georgia. Time period of the movie is present day, is contemporary. The story unfolds in modern times, reflecting current social and cultural dynamics. Remember to like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. Movie genre classification is Oh, let me put these up. I have uh, it looks like I have um, Houston in the house. Hi Houston. Thanks for your support. The movie genre classification is drama, mystery, and thriller. Yes. 
I love that. What up, Salud? <laughs> That's so funny. Like, sub, and share. It's for y'all. Oh, he's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Easton. Bless your heart. Okay. Um, yes, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, folks. Um, the summary of the movie. Divorce in the Black is set primarily in Atlanta, Georgia. The story centers on Ava, a young bank clerk, whose life unravels when her husband, Dallas, abruptly leaves her. As Ava struggles to navigate the emotional and practical challenges of her new reality, she discovers deeper, darker secrets about her husband's actions and their marriage. The film explores themes of betrayal, resilience, and the quest for true love against the backdrop of a contemporary urban environment. Okay. Oh, thank you, Houston. I'm glad. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's keep going. Thank you so much for being here. All right, who is your favorite character? My favorite character, okay, sorry. The character that is my fave is Ava. She's beautiful, gentle, impatient, but unfortunately mistreated and has to make a hard decision to take her power back in her marriage. A totally, a totally relatable character for some audiences. Okay, please subscribe and like. All right, the question is, do you like this movie? Why or why not? Yes, yes, yes. Um, the reason is this is a great movie because it features Tyler Perry's signature style. I love seeing Debbie Morgan and Megan Goodman back together again from Eve's Bayou in 1997. Richard Lawson was cool and Tyler Perry's signature denim overalls. He is an established actor who I'm speaking of is um, Richard Lawson. He's kind of like more contemporarily known as had been married to Beyonce's mother. But he's been working in cinema, especially in those black exploitation films like Black Killer 2 and these really great ones. But he is an outstanding actor. Anyway, he's in it and he's outstanding. Um, who else is great? Oh, you know what else I love? Plus, I love the Georgia country feel in the film. Also, Corey Hedrick. Hardrick, I hope I'm saying his name, last name correctly, shined as the male lead and showed how talented he is as one of the world's great cinematic character actors. Okay. Oh, this is Houston. He just put in his thoughts on Tyler Perry. So I'll address that afterward, though, if you don't mind. Okay. So, whoops, I, didn't, I missed a slide there. Can I pull up the comments? All right. Okay, so I'm right here. Okay, so who would you recommend this movie to and why? To fam and to foreigners. Because this movie is easy to understand, love, oh, I love the cast, and its universal themes of betrayal, resilience, and personal discovery can attract, attract rather, a broad range of viewers. I would recommend it to foreigners trying to learn American English or who are unfamiliar with issues couples have in the U.S. Okay? And then um, Houston says, I think Tyler Perry movies demonize black men. And also you said, oh, okay, I'm going to listen to the plot like the way you use your power pole. Oh, thank you, Houston. And also thank you for your participation. Um, and I value your opinion. Um, it could be seen that way for sure, his movies. But mine is just to give kind of like a perspective following the guidelines of um, film critics. So it's like a little sheet of paper you can print out if you go into search and you just put in like 
um, what did I use? I used a film review, right? And then it asks you all these questions. You just fill it out. So that's what I did in order to put my slideshow together for you guys, okay? All right. So uh, for foreigners, and also I have taught, have taught English to people in different countries. And it's good to learn any language by watching movies due to the very fundamental uh, American English usage of this film, um, I would suggest it to foreign people. Okay. All right. And then now it is reading time, right? So let's see that with how I rated it. Okay. The reading is the best part. Five stars. Woohoo! So weekly movie review rating is five stars. I did put down, it's a great movie for all the reasons that I gave you guys, okay? Now, it may not be an A for everybody. It may be more of a B. It's okay. To each his own. I happen to enjoy it. I understand it, and I know what I'm getting from Tyler Perry. He's, he's pretty much always the same. He's consistent. Okay? So, for that, I give him a five star. All right, all right. My question to you is, first of all, have you seen Divorce in the Black? And secondly, how would you rate this movie? Please leave your answer in the comments. With stars, how many stars you would give it okay? Like your star rating, why? Thank you so much for participating. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This and also comment, okay? I appreciate, I appreciate everyone. Thank you for Watching my first movie review for 2024, Divorce in Black. I will bring you one movie review each week. Okay? I'd like you to know that my sources, my sources are Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Movie Phone, IMBD. The screenshots and images are Instagram or social media, fair use. Um I just go to Tyler Perry's Instagram, pretty much. Uh, Coffee Chat with Camille, fair use disclaimer for 2024. This video is under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for the fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. All rights and credits go directly to its rightful owner, no copyright is in, intended. And if the rightful owner wants to dispute this, I will not hesitate to take take it take it down immediately or remove the content that's being challenged. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I do, Houston. I do. Yeah. I do all kind of movies. I don't really Genres, the genre of horror is really not my fave, but yeah, I'll, I'll do those. Right, right now I'm uh, really watching contemporary and 1970s movies. Okay, so my next one is going to be a 1970s movie. All right. Okay, I hope that answered your question. Uh, Houston, where are you located? I don't mean like like that, but like what state? Because I'm over here in Cali. California. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Coffee Chat with Camille. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And this ends our... Oh, that's right. You're in Houston. Okay. I should have known that already. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks. And I have a goal of 200 followers. I'm almost there, folks. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye for now, everyone. And have a great weekend. Yeah, the wildfires are crazy. Absolutely correct. Thank you, Houston. I'm leaving now, okay? I'm going to be back with a couple more probably, though. Thank you for your support, too. I appreciate you. Bye, everybody. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Bye.